today we are honored to interview Turkey Embassy Culture and Tourism Section Councillor Miss Yiko. And uh, my first question is, uh, how many years have you attended uh, this exhibition? Mm, we have been attending CITM uh, for many years. We've been in China market for 10 years actually. Uh, so this is many times we've been to CITM and next year also we're going to Kunming. Oh. Uh, next year is the Turkish culture year so in China so we uh, try to attend uh, all the exhibitions as much as we can. Uh, CITM is one of the biggest travel shows in China so the, we, we are here with the travel agents and hotels from Turkey also and the, everyone is very quite happy to be here. Mm, I think it's very useful for us to introduce ourselves and to meet the uh, consumer and uh, with the trade also. Um, so every year we're becoming more and more. I mean this yeah. year we're coming here with the Bodrum, Ai Chin Hai, yeah. Aegean Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. So every year we try to put some more uh, different product for Chinese market to introduce us uh, slowly yeah. because we know that it takes time so we will see mm. uh, I'd like to know what the marketing strategy and the positioning of uh, mm. Turkey to uh, Chinese tourists yes in the world now we ranked uh, in uh, sixth uh, we are in top 10 uh, last year we were uh, in uh, seventh this year we passed England and uh, become sixth and uh, for China, uh, we try to show uh, our face uh, in uh, all terms of tourism activities. Uh, first, of culture and history, of course, and then sea, sand and sun. Because I know that China market is um, open to every uh, tourism activity. They like to discover all. Most of the people think that they don't enjoy sea, sand, but I don't agree with them. Uh, they are open, they ready to discover everything, they enjoy everything. So we try to show our face as much as we can. I mean, the, because Turkey is surrounded by three seas, Aegean Sea, Mediterranean, Black Sea. And uh, so the Anatolia is rich of uh, history and culture. Istanbul itself is a three, um, the capital of three empires in the, uh, in the past. So. It's rich of uh, tourism uh, resources, so I believe that the Chinese travelers will get most of their uh, their uh, pay to travel when they travel to Turkey. I mean, uh, there is a lot. So one visit is never enough. We say they uh, anyone comes to Turkey wants to come again and again. So. Uh, but it will take time. It's, we, our position in China market it not, uh, is not so bad. We are uh, happy. Uh, last year we received 100,000 Chinese. Uh, our visa policy is uh, getting more flexible for China. And the next year it will be Ch Turkish culture year yeah. in China. So the relations becoming closer and closer. Yeah. Okay, so what kind of tourism is uh, more attractive? Yes, the Chinese tourist is ready to take everything. I mean, if you s show something interesting, they accept it. So it's uh, actually up to us which part of uh, we want to show them. So uh, Istanbul, of course, our shining star is one of the top uh, ten, uh, top five city in the world. So every every Chinese would like to see Istanbul because it's between uh, Asia and uh, Europe. So they would like to cross the bridge and uh, they would like to stand in the between two continents. Uh, so it's um, mystical, it's romantic, it's I mean interesting, a exciting. The culture similar to China. They surprised to see the uh, Turkish people has some. Uh, habits like Chinese people coming through uh, from the uh, Silk Road. So you know uh, China is the start point of Silk Road and Istanbul is the last point of Silk Road in Asia. So we are the start and the ending points. So we have many similarities and uh, also we have many differences. So it's um, quite um, very nice experience to discover all. Thank you very much, Ms. Eco. I thank you. I thank you.